Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of Pelican's more unique creations over the last century of pen making, and that is a music nib. Now, it is not that music nibs are the rarest thing ever. Many manufacturers today make a factory option, like Sailor, uh, Pilot, uh, Platinum. They can all have factory ordered nibs, though those nibs are very different than the vintage music nibs. What is unique about this is that Pelican has no modern music nib in its catalog, and technically, nor do they have a vintage music nib in its catalog. If you look at any sales literature, catalog, uh, book written about Pelican, perhaps the most you'll find is a uh, passing word about the existence of a music nib, but no further details. And what that leads us to conclude is that these were likely uh, very special ordered things, perhaps by a distributor or uh, a consumer, um, could place an order with the factory probably for an upcharge of some sort, and they could get a customization and uh, a nib made specifically to their uh, specifications. So let's take a look. This nib is uh, fit to a Pelican uh, 400NN Brown Tortoise. And a lot of these have been seen on 400NNs as well as 100s and 100Ns. So here's a look at the music nib itself. And you can tell kind of right off it has uh, basic characteristics of a music nib, which include two breather holes, two slits, and three tines. Now this one here has a large central breather hole. And if you've seen music nibs from other manufacturers, you'll see that that's usually not the case. And I think that's very telling in how these nibs came about. What this was was likely a blank off the shelf that when an order came through, a workman would add these additional two holes and then hand cut these slits. You can get a sense of that because when you look at the few pictures that exist of these, the uh, slits don't meet the breather holes at the same point. There's a lot of variety there. And uh, that suggests the very just handmade nature of these. You can tell here uh, the embossing, uh, it says Pelican 585 14 carat. This is the third generation of embossing that was employed uh, circa 1937 uh, when the 100N came about. These have Pelican's uh, typical uh, four finned ebonite feeds and the tipping is very uh, stubbish in quality, very smooth. These, proves, uh, these nibs produce, when held properly, uh, very thin down strokes of about 0.4 millimeters, and then uh, cross strokes, uh, which can go anywhere from 0.6 millimeters up to 1.6 millimeters, depending on how much pressure you apply. And that can also give us a significant amount of um, ink laid on the paper as well. So let's see what that looks like. Now I have to say I know nothing about music or musical notation. I do not know anything about writing nibs. So what you're gonna see here is more me doodling than anything else. All right, so a nib is held when it's used for musical notation such that the um, nib is parallel to the bar lines and perpendicular to the staves that you see on the paper here. And that is the uh, proper hold for a music nib, which is counterintuitive uh, to those uh, used to writing uh, with the traditional fountain pen. And I'm just gonna doodle as I said. I know nothing about uh, musical notation. But the nib has a nice amount of flex. It allows for the different uh, notations that get uh, used in musical notation. So ultimately, uh, someone with some skill uh, could put this to good use and uh, you know do their handwritten uh, scores. Now, most scores today are not handwritten. They are, in fact, uh, done on computer which makes it easier for reproduction and uh, for playing, but obviously uh, a lot of artists will still uh, write out their stuff by hand and then transcribe it into the computer, which allows for some increased sense of creativity um, and is uh, 
helpful in that creative process when you can kind of erase and and scribble and doodle and, and get notes and thoughts on the paper. I guess it just depends on uh, your usage. So anyway, this is a look at Pelican's uh, music nib. It is a wonderful nib and will probably be one of the highlights uh, of my collection. Uh, these are incredibly, I would say, exceedingly rare finds. Uh, if you do happen to find one, I would say not to hesitate to pick it up. Just as a final thought, you know, these do, if you write like a traditional nib, um, they have a very nice uh, stubbish quality to them. Gives you writing like that. And like I said, you get some nice thick down strokes and thin cross strokes when you hold it in that more traditional uh, hold. So if you have no musical skills whatsoever, um, these would make nice uh, stubs for just general wet writing. And when a pressure is applied, you can get a lot of ink. Uh, out of them. And you can see the kind of the amount of ink it puts on the paper. It takes a while to dry, you can still see there's uh, a lot of sheen and ink drying there. And that is a look at Pelican's Fabled Music Nib.